Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, might have noticed that Jan Brewer, governor of Arizona, she's been all over the news for the past couple of days. A picture of her waving her finger in Obama's face has been everywhere. Now this is red meat for the Tea Party. But I wonder how real Americans feel about so much disrespect being shown to the President of the United States. I mean, this has been a hallmark of the Republican Party. Joe Walsh screaming you lie at the State of the Union address. John Boehner not returning the President's phone calls. And, of course, the Republicans announcing that their main goal was to make Obama a one-term president. The fact that they have put this goal ahead of the good of the country not only says a lot about their politics, it is a clear indicator of the casual racism that's now endemic in the Republican Party. But what should have gotten Jan Brewer in the news is her corruption and callousness. Arizona's immigration law was written by the Prison Industry Association, which bankrolled Brewer's run for governor. Its purpose in writing the law was not to help the state of Arizona or the country. It was to make a lot of money. And Jan Brewer gave the Prison Industry Association $5 million out of state funds. She then refused to fund a program designed to help Arizona citizens with serious illnesses or conditions that can be cured with treatment. And several Arizonans have died directly because of what Governor Brewer did. The irony is a good person like Gabby Giffords gets shot and Jim Brewer walks around unscathed. If ever a bitch deserved a bullet in the head, it's Jan Brewer. Thanks for listening.